Okay, here's a small one I found. The pirate ship. It's pretty good. It's small, but what can you expect for a ship? Right, so we are going to um, land here because it's night time anyway, so we bloody land as usual. Let's get down. Um, that thing there, I don't know why the power's out. Well, if we wait for morning, I'll show you. So here's daylight. You just make out the ship now in the dark. Alright, so this thing is not powered because that looks like a proximity switch. Okay. Which means there's a bit of power somewhere, but I can't see it. So that's where you'd come in if you come from a space station. Let's get down here again. Um, I'll just look over the side a second. All ah, right, there it is. So the only thing that looks like it's powering is that damn uh, teleport. So not a lot of power. One battery and a bit of... It's not even powered up yet. Oh wait, that's the battery in it. No, you twit. Battery is 25,000. <laughs> that's not a lot. So it's 45,000 stored. So anyway, let's get up. So that's why we can't see a battery. Uh, the wire hider is taking out the wires. So that's how. There's no landing pad on the actual ship itself. So we're going to have to jump across. While we're here, we will look at the back end cornering section. Yay, look at that, back end. Um, so a quick skeg through the camera. As you can see, it's, it is glitched. Well, not glitched. It's sort of like overlapped in places, but it's the best you can actually do for straight pieces anyway. So shame we can't have curves. Something nice and pointed bits. So it's not f too far into the water. I guess that might be okay if we're high enough. We won't be able to, they look like octopuses. If um, the water level is just high enough then to be able to walk on without the splishy, splashy sound. Let's get up on the deck. Start on the front end. We've got multiple cannons. <laughs> I don't want to be in front of them. Um, I guess these are the cannonballs. Um, Gunpowder maybe? <laughs> In this day and age, we're still having gunpowder and bloody cannonballs, but okay. Um, if you're brave enough, you can have a bath up here. <laughs> it won't be me, but they... Oh, they've done all those shaky bits. Why is he doing that? I don't know. There's enough sails. I like the sails. It's upside down. Um, I don't know because I don't use them, so can we actually get up there? Let's just try. No, I missed! <laughs> I don't think I can. Okay, let's get down. We're down again. Where's the front end? It's <laughs> near the sharp pointed bit, obviously. But right, downstairs here. Uh, a bit risky on a wooden boat, but we have a stove. I guess this is the galley area, is it? Wow. That's deep. Lots more cannonballs and uh, bags of manure. I guess that might be gunpowder. I don't know. Did they come in bags? Uh, we've got bits of shovels for shoveling the gunpowder in. Uh, so it is the deck, the crew quarters by the look of it. Yeah, they're nicely packed in, aren't they? That's typical of warships. I know, I was on one. As you can see, there's no extra lighting, so I want to do this 
through the daylight hour if I can but as you can see it's quite neat packed out of course in, in in a real ship this size there would not be this much room <laughs> with the guns and that get up so we've got how many masts two main masts And two small ones. What's that by the capstan? Capstan? Is that the right word? I've forgotten. There's a little... That's the autopilot there. See him? That way, to the left. Or right. I don't know. Whichever it is. Uh, there's the base computer. All I've got to do is figure out how to get in there. Um, quick look up here. On the uh, quarter deck. Uh, there's no way in. I don't, let me just check. I can't see a way in unless it's through into that room because that seems pretty roomed. Pretty roomed. That doesn't seem to make sense. Um, wait, is that all right? Uh, it's a split level. Okay. That's why. Split level. Pretty damned good. This is pretty good actually. Get in here. More troughs on the outside. They've either got some seahorses here. Ah, uh, they got a slug in the bucket. You always need a slug in the bucket. Um, this must be the master bedroom. The skipper sleeps here with his best friend. Fish, ironic, fish, on the ocean, fish. I thought that was a Ludo board then. Is his spreadsheets. <laughs> He's got spreadsheets. He must have a PC stuck somewhere, right? Um, it's okay, it's a, it's a, it's a gas-operated PC. That's pretty damn good, actually. <laughs> Um, in here he's got, uh, <laughs> the crew is suspended, <laughs> they're in suspended animation. I guess it's supposed to look like gold and silver, so, and obviously some pretty crystals. Yeah, this way, oh, okay, maybe not. No, that way. <laughs> so that's, that's so basically we've covered it all actually because uh, it's not a very big one. Oh, damn it. You know what we forgot. It's a split level base. Uh, split level. The base computer's up there because I need the coordinates anyway. We come up here. I'll just grab the coordinates. There's um, Lager 44444787. Whoever he is. I don't even know what that number means pirate ship okay that's that like I say it's not very big but it is very well built so where are we going and we'll see you later well, it was fish I wonder what they were first <laughs> 